Uh, ben from Sky Pep, good afternoon. Um, FIFA this week announced the club's punishment for breaching rules on signing under 18 players. Um, you must be relieved that, unlike Chelsea, it doesn't involve a transfer ban. I think that, well, good morning to everybody. So, I think the club make a statement. So, that's also in any case is different. So, I don't know what happened in Chelsea, in Barcelona, or uh, other clubs in Europe. So, I don't know. So, and the club's making a statement. Last weekend went very well on the pitch. Um, Raheem Sterling, he's had a full pre season, hat trick on the opening day. Show just how crucial he is to your team. Is he one of the most dangerous players? Is he the most dangerous player, perhaps, in the Premier League at the moment? Uh, there are many. He's one of them. Yeah, he's one of them. Who else is in that conversation? Look the the top six players, six teams, and you will find many, many players. Premier League is there, incredible. So Randy put incredible, good, good players. So we have many, but the other clubs still. But Sterling specifically is outperforming almost everyone else, isn't he, at the moment? I didn't say I didn't watch all the other games, but uh, he's playing so good from the beginning in terms of uh, in, in clinical. So, but uh, we want more. Everybody wants more, and he wants more. So, it just was the first game of the Premier League season. You played some pretty epic games against Tottenham towards the end of last season, particularly in the Champions League. What did you learn about them in those matches? How good they are. So I, I spoke many times about like Tottenham. You know, my worst, my opinion about them. So it's a second best team in Europe. With that, it's enough. And your old friend last week, Jose Mourinho, said that City, Tottenham, Liverpool, and Man City's B team were the <laughs> potential title <laughs> challengers this year. How good is your B team? Can it win the title? Chiki Bugis Stan made an incredible job. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But in all seriousness, is uh, Liverpool and Tottenham the main two contenders, do you think? All of them. I'm really impressed with Chelsea, how good they play both the games against uh, tough teams like uh, United and Liverpool. I think for the tails didn't win, but I'm really surprised how good they play. Frank Lampard team and we saw United, you know, the quality they have it up front with a uh, you know, new, new, new mood. So, in Arsenal, they bought the good players with Pepe, with uh, David Luiz, and uh, people in front, like Azeto, Mayan, Ceballos, incredible top player in Spain uh, with a good movement quality. So, I think Tottenham the same. Um, have a good, so Tottenham, so really, really good contenders. Pep, Dom from TalkSport. Do you feel that Spurs are stronger now this season and possibly more of a threat given that they have the full season in the new stadium? Any distractions from last season gone? Kane fit, all these things? Since, since I came here to England, every season was a real contender. So first season finished second and the last two seasons uh, we won, but uh, always they were there. Always they were uh, tough, tough games. In terms of your squad, can you give us any, any team news, injuries, anybody not available that we know about? Obviously, Mendy. No, is everybody, out ev everybody is, is good. Everybody's fit. Fernandinho. Yeah, much better. And just a word about your midfield, because Bernardo Silva didn't start against West Ham, given that he had a magnificent season. Rodri came in and backed up everything you said about him last week. You were gushing about how good a player he would be. Again, does that give you a massive problem that, that the likes of Bernardo not in the side? That is going to happen every weekend, every game. So we can start to asking if everybody's fit, uh, the, the players don't play. Everybody deserves the quality of the team is good, so that is going to happen every, every weekend. So I can answer, I cannot answer. When my mood is good, I will answer. When it will not be good, I will not answer. But I think. I talk about the lineup, so tomorrow it will be the same. I have to think about what is the best for the team to win our opponent, and that's all. And just finally, about Rodri, because you, as I say, you, you knew almost last week that he was going to do what he did. No surprises, you said he'll get better and better. He has to play better, yeah? like Raheem and everybody. That's why we come here to training to, to, to see what, what we can do better. So still, Rodri, I think, has a potential. He's a young player, he's tall, he's uh, so smart, he's thinking about what happened, but uh, he's new. 
but still there are many things they have to to see what what we want to do what we we did in the in the recent past and the new things improving but he's smart and we, he will get it but of course like everyone can we can do better i bet mike from the bbc um am i right in saying leroy san had an operation this week how did it go how is he i think it's this weekend this weekend yeah um, Benjamin Mendy's been back in training. Yeah. When he comes back, how much competition has he got for that left back space with Alexander Zinchenko? Given how well he has performed and stepped up. What I want with Benji is be fit, be ready to training sessions week and week and week after. That is the target. And after for these quality specific qualities going to help us because when he played, he played good. But uh, you know he needs to play. He was almost two years out. We came back and after out, and we needed, you know, for the, our movement, our rhythm, for many things we want to do. So we want him from Benja. Is first target is not to focus into play; it's be fit, you know, be ready to, you know, mount and can train regularly. And of course, he has his chance to play. And finally, with City Spurs, such a massive fixture so early in the season, is it a bit odd? Like neither team will be at full capacity perhaps yet, no pressure on chasing the title. So is it a bit of a strange game to have such a big fixture so early? Last season, our first game was in Emirates against Arsenal. So the schedule are the schedule, the fixtures are the fixtures. So we have to play Spurs, we have to play Spurs. So welcome to Etihad the Stadium. Hi Pep, Dom Farrell from Omnisport. Um, Kevin De Bruyne had an incredible performance against Tottenham in the Champions League game last year, but then the weekend after against Spurs he got injured again. Um, how determined is Kevin this season, after all the injury problems last year, to have a really big impact this time around? Has that given him more motivation? I think Kevin was the same motivation as always, so what happened next, last season doesn't mean it's going to happen this season. So I think last season, in the beginning, was after World Cup, incredible season. That he played incredible, a lot of games. Uh, the year we won the first Premier League, and after World Cup, finish going semi final. Maybe came back a little bit tired, and maybe happened. But he works really well in the preseason, you know, to avoid it and to be fit and help us. Yeah, I mean, you've obviously got a lot of options in those midfield places, but Kevin probably gives you something a bit more, bit different as a coach, you know, a more direct option. How does he? What does he give you as a coach every, that the other players yeah, don't? Every player, every midfield player, like every player in the squad, but like you are asking about the midfield players, every player has his own qualities. And of course, the, the Kevin has any special qualities that we don't have. But David has an own quality that nobody has. So everyone has his own quality. He tried to use it for the, for, the, for the best for him, of course, for the best for the team. But sometimes the players are not completely, completely fit, or maybe they are fit and decide for another one. So... But the important is like case from Benjamin, like what happened last season. So it's, it's trying regularly, play, play, and we're going to try to handle. Now, in this period, we have one game a week, so they can recover well, training more than usual. But uh, when they start to, after international break, came the Champions League, and every three days, game, 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 until the end of the season, if we go through in the competition, so everybody's going to play and everybody's going to rest.